Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about should you learn WordPress. This is a question I get quite often in live streams. I, I thought it was about time that I film a video kind of addressing it. Uh, we're going to go in a little bit about my personal experience with WordPress. I have done some WordPress development. We're also going to be talking about uh, my internship when I was doing WordPress and an experience I had with one of the developers there. And then also we're going to be looking, most importantly, at some stats about salaries of WordPress developers, what type of jobs they go into, as well as uh, about six or seven other stats to compare it against, right? It's all relative. So when you look at WordPress and you look at PHP, JavaScript, all these sorts of things, how does it actually, how, how does it actually um, rank in terms of these other similar skill sets? Before we jump into today's video, I just want to do a quick shout out to Chime. This is actually the bank that I've been using for about two years. And if you're interested in it, there's a link in the description. I really love them a lot. Part of it is there's no monthly um, no monthly fees, no overdraft fees. I know when I was broke, getting going down negative three in the balance and then getting charged a $35 fee when I was with Chase just really pissed me off. So there's no overdraft fees or transfer fees. They have about 24,000 um, free fee free locations and you can you can look it up on the app it's real easy which is more than your your traditional bank you can get your checks up to two days early when you set up direct deposit and if you use the link in the description and you do set up direct deposit you'll get 25 25 dollars in your account and uh, just so you guys can see that i'm not like bsing you i'm logged into my account right here and one other cool feature is if you have this turned on they have a sort of round up your change feature and that that's cool in itself but uh, what I really like about it is they will actually match 10% of the roundup. So you'll see right here, I have this roundup bonus for 94 cents. Basically, they rounded up $9.40, uh, $9 and then they gave me 94 cents on top of it. Not going to make you rich by any means, just a cool little feature. So if you're interested in that and you're looking for a new bank, check out the link in the description below. So before we jump into the stats, I'd like to just kind of do a little bit of story time uh, about how I got my first internship. So um, about three years back, I got my first internship two hours away, uh, and I would make it $12 an hour and drive two hours there, two hours back, and it was a WordPress uh, shop. I didn't know any better at the time, and I took the role. And um, to be honest, I really didn't learn all that much. It was just money, I felt like, and some resume experience. But I did learn about WordPress uh, in a lot more detail. I had used it as a user to maintain blogs for a data center I used to do staff writing for. And essentially what was going on was it was basically a three or four man shop and the the developer there had been, the WordPress developer had been working for the same guy for 11 years since he graduated uh, in college. Now, he at 11 years of experience was making $65,000 in uh, California, by the way, to put this in perspective. Um, so enough to, to feed a family, uh, not enough to really do very well. And if you consider the other directions that you could have gone, and j just to, to put that in perspective, you should be making more than that two years experience or so um, as a traditional developer. So when you compare where, let's say I'll be in 11 years compared to where a WordPress developer would be in 11 years, statistically speaking, you're gonna be much farther than 65K. And I, I can say that without going into too much detail, I am farther than that um, at every single job I've ever had as a developer. So let's go ahead and jump into the, the stats a little bit. But I wanted to share that because I, I think that just from a personal experience and it could be different right maybe maybe that was just one guy who makes bad workplace decisions but uh it doesn't look like that's the case so here what we the site that we're on now include the the link down below but it's called pay scale what pay scale specializes in is finding out what your worth is right and what we're looking up today is the skill wordpress what is for what jobs are they most common in and at what average rates of pay and you'll notice one of the things that you'll actually know that i noticed instantly is that when you look up wordpress yeah you get web developer web designer front end developer web designer and developer so you want to stay away from this designer stuff all these designer jobs web designer jobs for the most part 
are getting automated by WordPress. They're getting automated by Wix and, and all those sort of uh, easy to deliver web design jobs because what, what you want to be is a developer not a designer and but there's nothing wrong with design but sometimes people stick in web design now there are people who make a lot of money doing very great designs but it's, it's a little bit of a, a different niche than than what is actually going on here so you'll also notice that there's webmaster and managing editor now these have nothing to really do with uh, development which when you start seeing skills that bring out other jobs that are closely related you need to start worrying about that in the software space and that's part of the reason that you see these at national average salaries so low for this skill set um you know fifty one thousand for a national forty three thousand like why even bother uh <laughs> forty three thousand you're just getting by right you can't raise a family in in, in um most places on forty three thousand um, so, you know, so the, the reason I bring this up is look at this senior web developer with WordPress in there at 66, 67,000. Um, so let's look at other, other items by, by comparison. In these cases, we're going to be looking at JavaScript. We're going to be looking at Java. We're going to be looking at Ruby. We're going to be looking at Python. We're going to be looking at PHP and C sharp. And <coughs> the reason for that, I figure that's a good, you know, six different languages. And you're saying, well, it's not really compared you can't really compare WordPress to JavaScript. Oh, yes, we can, because as someone who's looking to become a developer, that is what you're taking on. You're saying that I'm going to learn WordPress over JavaScript, over Python, and if you do do that, good, man. There's probably WordPress developers who make a lot more than the average, without a doubt. They've probably got very good and all this other stuff, but I'm just saying, statistically speaking, based off the average, this is the info that you should know. So let's go ahead and just jump into this JavaScript. So our range here was at 43,000. I think we can probably say that the average between all these jobs, probably about 50,000 or so, around there, maybe 52, 53. JavaScript developer. When we search for the skill JavaScript, what are we starting to pick up? We're picking up software engineer. We're also picking up software developer. We do get that higher uh, pay web developer one that they that was also a crossover, right? Uh, senior software engineer, senior engineer, front end developer, software engineer. So for something like this, uh, you're you're seeing, and this is by the way to to see where this is twenty seven thousand or so people reporting in WordPress. We have two thousand people reporting. So. Take it for what it is, but that it's people self-reporting uh, for the United States is where this is all coming up as current as of October 2017. So we can say at the very least that this is probably more indicative since there are 27,000 uh, reports in these jobs. So you'll see here front-end developer slash engineer, and then you go, okay, well, why is this one 56,000? And why is this one 68,000? Same exact job, but the skill is what I'm talking to you about. So you're making probably about 20% or 17% more money in the same exact role by learning JavaScript. And also, you have the ability to grow in, a, in more directions that are going to be more profitable, right? On here, uh, web developer, then front-end developer, and this 68,000 on JavaScript is higher than every job in WordPress. And no, money's not everything, but I'm just talking about, about the ability to provide for a family and things to consider when you are taking your time and energy to devote to a skill. And you have, so that's just JavaScript. Okay, uh, let's not harp on that too much because we all know that I'm a JavaScript guy and you're doing your bias in JavaScript, man. You just love um, looking the JavaScript off, right? <laughs> or whatever trolls say. So here we go, Java. I hate Java. So uh, we'll bring up Java. So you can see here in Java, 81,000, 69,000, 115,000, 103,000, 74,000, 70,000, 174,000. I think every job here beats the WordPress developer, right? Um, yeah, every job is higher than the jobs that come up when you look for the skill WordPress compared to Java. All right, that's all right. We'll, we'll continue on. Maybe that's just, maybe that's just two flukes. Maybe it's just two. Uh, I'm not a fan of Ruby either, man. Uh, if it's Java or Ruby, I'll take Ruby though. 
So let's say Ruby. Ruby got 85,000, 122,000, 109,000, 72,000, 69,000, 62,000, 61,000. All right, so not as, not as great as Java or JavaScript, but still quite a bit of a better skill set and more room for growth, right? We have a junior software engineer here. By the time you move up to a senior software engineer, you've more than doubled your income on average. So a lot more room for growth. Why the other jobs in WordPress, you're talking about going from, in best case scenario, best case scenario, you're starting at 43,000 as a, a WordPress web designer. or, or a word, So you start at 43, at best case, you get up to 66 as a senior web developer five years later, assuming that you jumped into web development and, and did some developing there. So you have a much better uh, career by not going into WordPress. Oh, okay, okay. You know what, Dylan? Three for three. That's that's no that's no good. And by the way, just because just so you guys know, I pulled these pages. I popped them up in tabs. I didn't even look at them before I filmed this video because I knew without even having to see them that all of them were going to be better than WordPress. But what, it's okay. Maybe maybe I'm wrong, right? So let's see here. Python, eighty six thousand, ninety six thousand, hundred nine thousand, uh, thirteen thousand people reporting. You know, so. The thing with WordPress guys is a lot of times you'll build a template, you'll send it to them, and then they're done. The people, WordPress is so easy, they manage it themselves, they can't get a lot of customizability, but 99% of businesses are small little businesses. They're like mom and pop sort of uh, stores, maybe it's a furniture store or uh, auto shop or whatever, and they just need that website and one maybe contact form to send emails when someone's interested in their products. And WordPress, you're playing right into that and there's nothing wrong with it per se, but you're not doing the best thing for your salary. So now we get to the dirty, dirty PHP. Um, and you'll see this is a little bit on the lower end, uh, 53, 77, 64, 61, 80, but still not bad, right? Still not bad. About half the uh, the web runs PHP, I believe is what I read in a, a stat. Don't quote me on that, but I think. So there's a lot of PHP out in the world. It's unfortunate. PHP is disgusting. Uh, so uh, that's just my personal opinion. Uh, I guess that was a little too opinionated. I do not like PHP is what I'm trying to say. But um, WordPress also backbone is PHP. So if you are going to learn WordPress, may I please just say learn PHP instead. Or as you're getting your internship in WordPress, continue to study PHP and get a PHP role uh, somewhere else. That would be my advice. And finally, we just pull up C sharp, 75, 67, 103, 97, um, 61. But you'll also notice that every, every category we've looked at has had only developer jobs, engineer roles, developer roles, uh, data analyst is falls into that category as well. Well, meanwhile, we go into PHP and we have this very strange outlier of not only lower money but also these two jobs in here that have absolutely nothing to do with like real development managing editor webmaster so i would encourage you guys to do your own research this is just one site right you're going to find the same thing a million other places um but maybe maybe you don't believe me or maybe you just don't like facts uh that's okay too right but uh you're um you're going to be uh, putting yourself in a, you're basically going to pigeonhole yourself, your career. Because uh, a lot of times what happens is people go and they do what's easy. And WordPress is easy, right? You'll get going and you'll find work and maybe you'll get even some, some easy um, content management work. And from there, what happens is a lot of times people won't put in the time and the energy to learn outside what they know. Cause, and then they... The, you know they've capped themselves at fifty, sixty thousand dollars salary. That when you could be making a hundred and twenty, be much more in demand. And if you ever get laid off, you get a job like that, better benefits, uh, more more PTO, all that sort of stuff. Working for better companies. So my advice for you is to stay away from WordPress. It is not the uh, best thing that you can do to spend your time on. So uh, I'll include the links to. Uh, to the WordPress in here. I'm not gonna include all seven, it's too much time, but I'll include at least the WordPress and JavaScript one so you guys can kind of look over it and see other skills on here that you may be interested in. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, sus subscribe, share, support me on pa Patreon. I don't only want you to like, I want you to smash that motherfucking like button as Ethan and Hilo would say. Uh, I appreciate you all.
Um, I wish you the best of luck. And if you are learning WordPress and you think I'm wrong, tell me why. I, I mean, I'm not opposed to being corrected. I'm trying to educate myself as, as much as maybe help educate others and share my opinion about these things. Um, I don't really think anything I've told you is opinion today. I think what I've shown you is that based off of one resource, admittedly, but I've seen this at other sites, but based off this one resource, we can say that the money is less, the amount of people reporting is less, so, and the jobs here, they're, they're not web development jobs for some of them, which is scary. So uh, things to think about. Thank you so much. See you guys next time. Bye. Baby, would you still date me if I was a WordPress developer? No! Quick shout out to deviceplus.com. If you're interested in the latest IOTs, hacks, do-it-yourself projects revolving around Arduino and Raspberry Pi, they have some great how-to guides. I, I highly encourage you to check them out, and thanks for watching.